What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be checking out this auxiliary power cable for our Lippert Power Stance Power Jack. It's going to go on your A-frame trailer and what it's going to allow you to do is you plug in the adapter here at this port on the jack and the other end is a 7 pole and it goes into your truck. That way you can power your jack with your vehicle which is going to help you out just in case you lose power for whatever reason to the the battery that this is already run to, you have any issues like that, maybe something gets cut underneath, now you don't have to just hand crank it up here because that's an option, but you don't want to do that all the time. I'd rather have this in the truck, that way you can go up and down just as easy as you would if the power is connected. Let's check it out. The cable itself spans about six feet, so you're going to have plenty of it to reach your truck and your jack. Another thing that I think is cool about it is it's not just a cable with the seven pole, it actually came with the loom around it, so it's nice and protected, taped up. It's going to last and protect that wire if it's exposed to the elements. Now where you go to plug this in, it's actually labeled right here. You just pop this tab right there. Plug it in right there up front. Then take your other end and go to the truck side. Now it's ready to operate. Another interesting feature that the jack actually has is it will house the seven pole right in here. So if you're not using it, for a little bit, you parked your trailer, you can just put that up in there, put your wiring aside, and hold it all nice and neat together. Now, if it was a prolonged period of time, if you're like leaving it overnight, I would just go ahead and unplug it and keep this in your truck, keep it nice and safe. So that's the seven pole power cable that works with the power stance jack. I think it's a handy addition to your jack. Maybe you don't have a battery on your trailer, you have nothing to wire it to, or you know you have a bad battery or just in case to have this, I think it's super helpful. That way you don't have to hand crank it like I said earlier. You don't want to have to do all that nonsense. You can just plug it in and go and get your trailer on your truck or off your truck. Well, I think that does it. I hope this helped.